Transgender woman trying to put a stop to a popular practice here in Atlanta. Illegal silicone injections have become widely available in the city, and she says they are incredibly dangerous. Just last week, a friend of hers died. Our Caitlin Ross has taken a closer look at the so-called pump doctors offering a cheap alternative to traditional plastic surgery. Caitlin. For 10 years, Talia Cassande got silicone injections every other week. Despite crippling medical issues, she kept going back. She says it was only once she got the silicone removed that she realized just how dangerous it was. Here I am walking and breathing, not knowing that I pretty much have a rotten corpse inside of my body. She started getting the injections in her breasts, buttocks, and cheeks in 2004. I had to be better in my looks. I didn't think that I was going to accomplish my goals if I didn't look the part. Despite nearly daily fevers and almost losing her left leg, she kept going back. But I was so used to feeling bad that it became normal. She drove to Albany, Georgia weekly to get injections from Maisha Santiago. Later across her bed and received the injections there. While she was still a patient, Santiago went to prison for murder after another woman she injected died. Cassadine testified against her and eventually stopped getting the injections. But she says even the high-profile trial wasn't enough to stop a close friend and mentor who died last week after getting silicone injections in Tampa. If she only knew that there were people who saw her being perfect, she was perfect to me. Cassadine started a Facebook group to speak out against the illegal practice, and she talks to people considering getting it done honestly. I've gone to the point of removing my shirt and showing them the scars. People need to see the ugly side. She wants to see police crack down on the practice and for people to stop getting these illegal silicone injections. It's time for people to stop dying to be beautiful. Through her campaign, she contacts police every time she finds out about people giving these illegal injections. But she says every time one of these pump doctors are arrested, another one pops back up. She calls it an epidemic in Atlanta. Caitlin, thank you. And the FDA hasn't approved liquid silicone or gel to augment tissue anywhere in the body. That's important to note here. There are other injectables called soft tissue fillers that the FDA approved for use on facial wrinkles, skin folds, and lips. They are not approved to be used in breasts, buttocks, feet, or in muscles and ligaments. Even if you use fillers the correct way, there are a lot of risks from bruising to infection or even tissue death. A simple internet search finds lots of products advertised as butt injectables or fillers. Many of the products are coming from China. They sell for as little as $35 and come with a syringe and instructions for how to inject yourself. Can